Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. The diet supplement industry has convinced millions of Americans their diet is protein deficient. In this video, I'll look at what is protein, why is it important, protein and amino acids, complete versus incomplete protein, animal versus plant protein, how much protein do you need, and the risks of too much protein. Proteins are large molecules consisting of one or more chains of amino acids. Protein is one of three macronutrients along with fats and carbohydrates. Animal and plant foods provide dietary protein. Protein provides amino acids essential for every part of the human body. Your body does not use food protein to make other proteins. It uses the amino acids in protein. The human body needs 21 amino acids that are classified as either essential or non-essential. The non-essential amino acids are made by your body and are not dependent on your diet. Your body can't make essential amino acids. They must come from your diet. There are nine essential amino acids. A poor diet or low protein diet may not provide enough of one or more essential amino acids. For decades, Americans were told some foods provide complete protein and some foods provided incomplete protein. For example, dairy, meat, poultry, and seafood are the only sources of complete protein. True or false? The answer is false. Vegetarians must eat a combination of foods like beans and rice to obtain complete protein. True or false? The answer, again, is false. All plant and animal protein is complete protein providing the nine essential amino acids. The old theory was plant protein lacked one or more essential amino acids without adding a complementary plant food. If this is true, then beans, in this case kidney beans, should lack one or more essential amino acids. According to this website, kidney beans has an amino acid score of 103. A score of 100 or more is a high quality source of protein. The amino acid chart shows kidney beans is a good source of all nine amino acids. Compared to quinoa, considered an excellent source of complete protein, there's only a 3% difference in their scores. Long grain white rice has a score of 71. The reason is not because it lacks lysine, it's just not the best source of lysine. That doesn't mean you shouldn't eat rice. Recent research discovered the human body stores essential amino acids. A vegan diet omitting all meat and dairy foods supplies all essential amino acids. References to complete protein really means quality protein. Dairy, meat, poultry, and seafood are protein-dense foods providing high levels of essential amino acids. Soy, chia seeds, and quinoa provide high-quality vegetable protein. Contrary to what many Americans believe, beef is not necessarily the best source of protein. Beef is an excellent source of 8 out of 9 amino acids, but provides less tryptophan than quinoa. The USDA recommends Americans get 50 grams of protein for a 2,000 calorie diet. But depending on the source, daily protein recommendations range between 0.4 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. The USDA's 50 gram recommendation falls in between the low range for a person weighing between 100 and 150 pounds. It is recommended that people over 50 should eat more protein because amino acid production declines with age. Anyone exercising strenuously one or more hours a day may also need more protein, but there's little scientific evidence supporting that claim. 
What's important is the daily supply of essential amino acids. Like protein, there's no consensus. As you can see, the World Health Organization has slightly lower requirements than the USA. U.S. dietary guidelines are developed in partnership with the food industry, and all amino acid values are recommendations, not requirements. Using the U.S. guideline, here is the recommended essential amino acids for a 150-pound person. Eating one 4-ounce serving of beef provides 44 to 87 percent of the daily recommendation. 2008 projected U.S. per capita meat consumption is almost 10 ounces a day. When it comes to meat protein, poultry is an excellent source. Four ounces of turkey breast meat provides higher levels of amino acids compared to four ounces of beef tenderloin. For a 150 pound person, this one meal with 70 grams of protein provides a day's worth of essential amino acids. Before Americans went on a self-medication binge, the risk of overdosing on dietary protein, vitamins, and minerals was zero. It's almost impossible obtaining too much protein from foods. Many Americans are now supplementing food protein in their diet by adding a wide variety of processed protein and high-protein foods. During digestion, protein is broken down into amino acids by a process called deamination. The byproduct of deamination is ammonia, which is toxic. To remove the ammonia, it is converted to urea. Urea is removed through urination. One reason people lose weight on high-protein diets is because they are also losing water. Anyone with impaired kidney function or family history of kidney disease should talk to their doctor before starting a high-protein diet. Remember, the quality of protein matters more than the quantity of protein. Some protein facts are that protein provides amino acids and nine amino acids must come from your diet. Animal and vegetable protein provide all nine essential amino acids. The quantity of amino acids varies from food to food. In general, animal protein is higher in amino acids. Most Americans obtain enough protein from their diet, and there are risks associated with eating too much protein. Some myths are that the American diet is protein deficient. Only animal and a few plant proteins are complete. Vegetarians, especially vegans, cannot obtain enough protein from their diet without supplements, and that vegetarians must combine foods like beans and grains to obtain complete protein. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.